just that simple. I wish I was as skillful as D with a bam with a machete, I should say, and some bamboo. <laughs> Fair play. So that's very nice of D. He has offered to make us a cup from the piece of bamboo that he is currently carrying. Just chopped it down. And souvenir. <laughs> a souvenir from Cowstock, exactly. I thought a great souvenir to get. Yeah, so you'd want to be careful here. A lot of things can poison you, whether it's snakes or mushrooms or different animals and insects. Always good to go with a guide. A man who knows what he's doing and where he's going. I see the river. The master craftsman at work. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, that looks very, very good, yeah. That's gonna be good. Oh, wow. So D is just carving out the cup again here, but it's, it's so good. It's just like something you would walk into a shop and get somehow within a few minutes. So you can drink beer from this, you can put hot tea in it, you can clean it with hot water. This cup does everything, everything you need. So we're getting a little bonus here as well. We're actually gonna get a spoon out of this, this piece of bamboo to go with our two cups. They look very, very nice. There you go, look at that. Perfect cup. Can't wait to have a drink in that later. Look at that. Even the spoon as well, there's not a little bit of sharpness left on it. It's just absolutely perfect, straight out of the shop. I think there's a business in that for D, definitely. <laughs> Abdul, uh, D's friend here, decided to make a bong out of his, which is quite not, you know, when you're here, whatever you're into. So Abdul is D's teacher. He taught him the, the master craft of uh, using the bamboo to make a cup and a spoon. So once again, pretty much walking through the middle of a riverbed, but there is no water. Still too early, we need to wait a little bit longer. Pity we don't get to see more of these rivers flowing, but that's fine. It's still interesting to walk through the riverbed and Explore the surroundings here at Polsac. Unbelievable. It's very dangerous here. Even D tripped over the liana on the ground, so basically anything can get you in this jungle. Jesus Christ. So we're coming up to the waterfall now. I can definitely hear the water moving, but I don't know what to expect. Let's hope it's a decent little waterfall. Maybe it's just a river ball, but let's see. So even though a lot of the rivers are actually dried up, it doesn't really take away from the park itself. Like you still have all this natural beauty around you. And there is water in lots of the rivers, like this one here beside us. So it's just, it wouldn't be that deep. Yeah, maybe with the waterfalls it is needed a bit more. It's been good so far. It's nearly there now. And we're not even done yet. There's a little lemur up in the tree. You can hear him jumping around there probably. Oh yeah, look, you can see the yellow baby being carried underneath. Oh, he goes for a jump. Unbelievable, he's coming right, right beside us. So after one year, the baby's colour will change to more grey, just like the parent. So it takes, yeah, like I said, just a little bit more time to mature. These lemurs are just like flying across our heads, like probably three or four metres apart between the trees. And you just hear the crash as they hit the other tree and land. It's, it's dead. Look at these two huge fellas here. And I think we're going to be joined by a third. mother and, and child here jumping through. Uh, this one's gonna go for the big jump now I'd say. He's a hungry fella eating the leaf. We have really gotten so lucky here today. What do you think? Do you, have we been lucky today with the animals we've seen? Yeah. And you enjoyed the day? Uh -huh. yeah, there was the option for the night safari but we took the day one. Uh, I don't know why really but seem to decide that last night and we have not been disappointed. Nice. 
that's our video on the half day tour of in Kausok National Park. Really hope you liked it and got something from it. Obviously we would highly recommend coming along for it because of all the natural stuff we got to see, uh, the snakes, the monkeys, all that side of it. Looking forward to getting back to the hotel now. It is very hot and the mosquitoes are starting to come around us a lot more now. So if you did like the video, do subscribe, hit the like button and let us know what you thought in the comments below. Thanks a million and looking forward to seeing you again in the next one.